Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Baylor and Texas A&M are both on the field as we take you for a live look inside the stadium in the moments leading up to kickoff. Intensity starting to rise as the fans are getting ready for the Battle of the Brazos. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. to duke it out. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. Daniel is lined up to kick this one off. And you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's hit immediately. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window the zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slant. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it second. second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop at the 46. Steven brings him down at the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. He's scrambling. Slides down. Game number 10 on the way. First down. The ball, the ball, the ball. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Back four. Back four. Run four. Pass. Brought down at the 11. That's a good for a game of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Kill, kill, kill! They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it first and goal. the football in his hands near the end zone and he showed you why right there he makes the PAT let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update guns up Texas Tech doing battle in 11 Texas Tech leads it 7-3 
in another game. Pittsburgh and West Virginia set for the backyard brawl. And for West Virginia, as time expires, they score to win the game. And for Barnes, he rushed for a touchdown. The Mountaineers slide out with a four-point win. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Bryant has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Brought down at the 31-yard line. The Bears know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced that you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll spread the field with five wide. drive and it resulted in six Texas A&M is up by a touchdown here's an opening Territory, but they look totally in control there. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. And he adds the extra point. A quick two play, 18 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. The Bears linebacker came out of the game with an injury earlier, but he's warming up on the sideline. Looks like he'll be back in this one. Fielded at the 9. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. They need to show a little giddy-up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He makes his way to about the 48. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line talk about a dual threat guy this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground he makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line that makes it second into 10 
he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made at the 29. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Got some open field. He's taken down right around the 20. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their team. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Zips it to the back. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. about four yards on the option keeper. That brings up second and goal. Converts the extra point. Smaler is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Texas A&M staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half, where they've gotten off to a great start so far. So we're just about ready to return to action. Texas A&M is up a score. Two yard line. It's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And they get nice yardage on that run. Oh, seven yards. That makes it third and three. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled in the open field. Catches it, and that's all. We're through one quarter. So the Aggies with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They come out in an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. Dives, and he's down. Easy, 
Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your there. offensive progress. First and long now after the penalty. Texas A&M is up seven. He zips it out to the left. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. out to his wide out and down he goes at about the 15 yard line that's a gain of nine on the play that'll make it second and inches they go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Open field tackle. First down. We gotta move quick. We gotta move quick right here. Check, check. check. Green nine. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. Texas A&M up seven points. Got a man. He can't complete the play. This is the 13th play of this drive. They come out in a five-wide set. He throws. Almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 35 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's going to go for the home run. Throws complete. He's got space to work for the 10. Oh. 
They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he hits the PAT. Get set to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. Heading for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Texas a and holds a field goal lead. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Watch two, watch two. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Let's go some luck. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Two minutes left in the half. And two, and then... Hands it off. Room around the corner. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Williams gets six yards on the carry. Texas a and is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Touchdown, a and M. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 49-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 24-13 from the eight-yard line, and he's tackled at the 32. Howell's performance here in the first half is just not what we're used to seeing, and I think right now everybody's kind of looking around in that huddle saying, Who's going to help the cause? Because he's not getting it done. Not at all. And this is really where you find out what this offense as a group is made out of. It's one thing on a week to rely on your star running back when he's having a great game. But when he's off, who can step up? You know, if I'm the quarterback of this offense, I'm looking around and I'm challenging some of the other guys in that huddle to take some of the heat off of this running back. Now, you never know. He could catch fire in the second half. But at this point, they need to make some kind of adjustment. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. Brought down at the 34. That's how we do. Three That's how we do. They don't want another one. That'll bring up third and eight. Four yards away here on second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Throws this one out to the right. He got it! Touchdown, Baylor! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to get you up to date from Lubbock. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, we might have an upset percolating in this one. Texas Tech leads it 21-20. You can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Baylor lines up for the kickoff. Robinson from the seventh. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Well, the points are coming like snow flurries in the winter. <laughs> and we still have time to go here in the first half. Who knows? Maybe we can get a couple more touchdowns out of it. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Texas A&M is up by three. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. Yellow three. Yellow three. Play two. Check, check. Answer, damn it. Quick throw, tackle made at about the 47-yard line. Dancer, dancer. That makes it second and two. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. That makes it first and ten. Here we go, here. He scrambled. He's at the 20. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Call the game of 12 yards. First down. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three. Just check it, just check it, just check it. And two. Now he's scrambling. Inside the 10. Slides down. Texas A&M's called their final timeout. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. So the Aggies quarterback down there on the sideline, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much pain right now. They need him back on the field before this one's over. And he got it. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 27-21, Texas A&M. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. That first half was a clinic put on by both offenses. In this era of college football, we've seen more and more creativity on the offensive side, and it was on full display in the first half. 
Yeah, uh, full arsenal and everything you did, you did well. I mean, it didn't take uh, it didn't take many mistakes. There wasn't many mistakes to be had out there. Both offenses executing at a high level. It pains me to say that. And as a defensive guy, you'd like to see a little bit more resistance. But, you know, the offense was dialed in. The, the coordinators giving the quarterbacks the right plays. The, the quarterbacks, you know, making the right throws. Receivers making great catches. Uh, I don't know where I would com put any complaints or where I would complain with this offense because it was dialed in. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second and half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Taken at the five. He's out to the 30. The 50. At the 30. For the 20. The 10, and he scores! Touchdown! The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 24. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He's into the open field. And he's tackled at the 49. That's a team of 10 on the ball. That'll make it second and in inches. Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, Q, kill, kill, kill. Four, where? Two, four, six. On the catch, and he steps out. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Check, check. check. Answer, check. Check. Goes quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 45. tries to buy some time. Room around the corner. There's a fumble. And the offense will recover. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. To review, review the, the play, play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. From the 37-yard line, go, here we go, here we go. first down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. 
brings him second and five. Five wide. Hey, kill, kill, kill! kill. Three, five, 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 three, go! Run. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback kill, in the gun. Kill, kill. Five wide receivers. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. First down. Check 13! Check 13! Let's go, defense! They come out on an empty backfield. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. And they make the stop at the 4-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. So the Aggies had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. Texas A&M is trying to take the lead here. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. From the seven. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. out to about the 45-yard line. He 
Reigns at the 30. Gets out to around the 25. Fights forward to about the 23. That's good for a gain of two yards. One more quarter of action remaining, and this one has been a real treat. 30-28, Aggies. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Caught with room to work. He's taken down at about the 11. Strike to his receiver, no good. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and they tack on three points. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Robinson from the eight. He's out to the 30, and he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's to the 40. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down. He's taken off. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Goes to the tight end, and it's knocked away. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Go four, three, get there, get there. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it first and ten. I got one, I got one, I got one. You must, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Kill, kill, kill. Here's an opening, and it's a whole new ball game. This is textbook. They were able to freeze the safety with the play action, leaving the wide receiver plenty of room to get in for the score. So the offense is going to go for two. He's got the 
two. Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30. Baylor's are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem to show up and be able to move the football. But I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously. Just under three to go in regulation. Powell on the run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. That's the second time that he sacked the quarterback today. For this offensive line, it must feel like they're going up against an avalanche on almost every play. This guy's putting up some really good pressure on him. Coming up, ball on the 38-yard line. Gets it, he's in space. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. A little over a minute in the game. And that one's incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. That makes it second and ten. From the 20 yard line, it's second down. run up the middle. Baylor just took their first time out. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. This one's going deep to the end zone. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 40. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. 
The Bears, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout from their own 40-yard line. It's first down, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Green nine, green nine. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. We had a fight to the finish here today. 38-31. Texas A&M. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.